Okay, this little case we have right here has some unusual pieces. These bird effigy or duck pots that we have in this collection. Uh, kind of mixed uh, feeling from the archaeologists about what their possible uses were on these. I've had uh, an archaeologist tell me that these may have been lamps. They filled them with uh, pine pitch and used them to light like a, an oil lamp that was used in the Mideast or something like that. Also, I've been told that these are small enough that an infant could have held them in their hand and they could have used them like a sippy cup. I don't think that I subscribe to either one of those particular usages uh, of these items. I think that these folks were just very artistic. We can notice that around here. I simply think that they broke up a mundane way of life by creating art in pieces that they could use. And maybe they were small enough to store seeds or beads or berries or whatever. So this looks like I went down to Kohl's and got a matching set, you know, kind of like the Russian dolls that are small. Mm -hmm. Are these found separately or was this a set? Uh, these were found together. So, so it was kind of like a decorative set, like you're right. talking about. Mm -hmm. about um, and, and just these three yeah, or all the way down to the... All the way down. All the way down to the little teeny tiny yeah. ones. Yeah. Really? So, so that kind of Russian doll or decorative art, decorative art you set. Your collects pigs. Yeah, and they, 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 yeah, they just, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> clearly, if, if you had found them separately, they're just different sizes of something, but you find them in, in a set like that, that's, wow, that's interesting. It is. It's a fun piece. We don't know their usage for sure, but. That's my interpretation of it. This piece right here is fun. Uh, this is actually not from the Anasazi culture. This is a clay figurine. It was probably a death figurine issued at the time of someone's passing. Uh, comes from the Fremont culture. And the Fremont people... Which uh, is north of us, two or three hundred miles. Actually, the, the White Cliffs above Kanab are kind of a crude dividing line between okay. these two cultures, okay. the Anasazi and the Fremont. Uh, most of the archaeologists are in agreement that uh, probably they were all the same people, not very far back in time. The big division or the split in this culture came as a result of the Anasazi giving up the hunter-gathering way of life probably 200 years before the Fremont people did. And as a result of that lifestyle change, uh, the Anasazi started to plant uh, seeds and stuff at the different springs and areas and waiting to harvest those gave them a little more time for cultural items. They learned to uh, build stacked rock pueblos and improve their pottery making and such. Uh, became more sedentary in their lifestyle and that created the big division between these two cultures as, as a result of that. But this is probably from the Fremont culture. I'm going to turn that off a second. 